Hi guys, we're now just a few days away from Halloween and I was able to pick up this pretty perfect pumpkin um, yesterday. So what we're going to do is we're going to be carving this pumpkin today and all you would really need is a really good carving kit. I have mine right here. Alright guys, so in all seriousness though, um, pumpkins are actually really good for your bird and right now is a really good time to buy them because they sell them everywhere. So the good thing is, if your bird does ingest um, any part of the pumpkin, it's totally edible and it's, to it's totally good for your bird. So you don't, you don't got to worry about that. But um, what I would do is, I would carve up um, a piece of it first, so I carved off the top. So that your bird has kind of like a starting point to start chewing. Um, you don't need to remove the stuffings, um, it's actually really good just to leave the stuffings in there. Because the pumpkin seeds, your bird can again, they can ingest, they can eat it. And it's just a lot of fun watching them destroy um, the entire pumpkin. So you guys got to get kind of creative for where you're going to put your pumpkin. So I just placed these two perches at an intersection so the pumpkin can rest right on top of it. If you have a smaller pumpkin though, I have a really good tip for you right here. Take a look at this um, water bowl. If you remove the water bowl, you can get one of those small pumpkins and it'll fit just right into there. So let's go ahead and put the pumpkin up and we'll see how Smokey likes it. Alright, so here we have our pumpkin. And I just want to make sure that it's completely stable. There's no chance of it falling off if Smokey were to climb on it. So I'm going to have to twist this a little bit more. There. Now that we have our pumpkin, let's introduce our bird. Now that you carved off the top, they might be really scared of this big pumpkin. So if you take the top, which is a much smaller piece, and just take a pumpkin seed out, give your bird a little taste of the pumpkin seed. Once they get a taste of it, they kind of um, catch on pretty quick that, hey, this thing is pretty tasty. I'm not forcing her near the pumpkin. I'm simply just taking the um, top of the pumpkin, and I'm asking her to approach both this part and also the pumpkin. And she's doing this all by herself. So guys, I see that she's kind of comfortable, much more comfortable now. So all I need to do is take this big uh, top piece. And she's going to willingly start picking out the seeds. So if your bird is really scared of the pumpkin and they don't want to get near the pumpkin, this is a good way to go. Um, it's a good way to get them to understand that this whole thing is actually pretty tasty. It's not there to harm them. And now that that's all settled, I know that Smokey can't really see the inside. So what I'll do is I'll just hold it down like this, and I'll show her, hey look, there are seeds inside. It's pretty messy, but uh... promise it'll be worth it in the end. Come on, Smokes. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. When I first um, introduced Smokey to the pumpkin a few years ago, she was completely terrified of it. So what I had to do was, um, a few days before, I would left it outside of her cage and um, every day I would continue to inch the pumpkin slowly over and over closer to her cage until eventually I got to the point where she would touch and tap on the pumpkin. Now if your bird is going really slow with that, it's um, okay to just take maybe their favorite treats, if it's sunflower seeds, and continuously lure them over to the pumpkin like I did um, earlier using these pumpkin seeds. One thing that, uh, that I taught Smokey is I taught her how to tap and to knock on things. So that gets her really um, comfortable and get her used to uh, overcoming her fear of new objects. So Smokey, can you uh, knock? Knock on it. There you go. Alright, so she's already started on it guys. And again, all it takes is for your bird to get a taste of it. And they'll be hooked pretty much right after. What did I tell you? It's been just a couple of, uh, probably about three minutes, guys, and You can already see that she's destroyed so much of it.
So as you guys can probably see, she's not eating most of it, if any, right now. But um, nonetheless, she has a lot of uh, fun just destroying it. It's a really good way to exercise their beak. And it's a great way to keep them occupied. Especially if you guys aren't home. Here's a really zoomed up view. Let me turn this pumpkin back over. Alright guys, so I hope um, I was able to give you guys some ideas. At the very least, I hope I inspired you to get your bird their own pumpkin. And um, it's a lot of fun for them, so try it out. And don't forget, if you guys um, have a smaller bird, I would recommend taking the food bowl out and in place of it, just putting the pumpkin inside of it. And um, that's a good way to kind of just keep it in place so your bird can kind of play around with it. If you guys haven't done so already, make sure you guys also click the subscribe button below and check out my channel for other smoky related videos. And um, a lot of my videos are going to focus on training and enrichment, so make sure you guys check them out. Got a good bird, smokes.